Hey there everyone, this is Julius, uh, otherwise known as 38 on thingiverse.com, and today I want to put together this whisk, and uh, a whisk handle actually. I happen to have uh, acquired this cute little uh, whisk that's way too small, the handle's too small, and um, anyways, I've uh, gone into Onshape, which is a free online um, CAD program, and I mocked up uh, the end of the handle, the whisk, right here. Uh, so that I could design a handle around it. Alright, so the first thing uh, we're going to do is uh, basically create a sketch uh, on the bottom of this uh, 10 millimeter handle here that we've uh, mocked up because the idea is I want to basically make a nice little mushroomy handle that uh, I can snap in. Uh, some of the design criteria is I want uh, a single piece, I want it to print without support, and I want it to be easy to clean. So uh, I'm going to start unsuppressing things that I've already sketched up and uh, here I'll start with this one. I'll unsuppress and this is where I basically chose this surface as my um, build plane and then I created this little frog eye shaped hole based on the uh, diameter dimensions of the uh, handle that needs to slip into it. And uh, after that I extruded that uh, to um, basically consume the entirety of the little handle that was originally part of the whisk. So now you have this crude cylinder shape here and um, after that, uh, this is pretty much almost done, except we want whenever we slip it in there to uh, snap in place. So what I'll do now is um, unsuppress the next step, which was to take a surface on the inside of here. It was uh, this surface right there, and uh, build on that and create another drawing where uh, the handle would um, slip into this end and snap into these little little bumps right here and fix in place right here. Uh, so after I did that, after I drew that, uh, I basically extruded it from that surface to the next surface, which is uh, expressed by this step right here. So you can see it extruded on in there. But I don't like it whenever um, you get flat surfaces here. Uh, so I created another sketch where I was actually going to remove those, this, li this little C-shaped piece right here on both sides. So uh, extruding again can be additive or, um, or removable, uh, removing, and um, I'll just unsuppress that and show what the result is. You get a perfect little circle. So now that we have a perfect cylinder with a hole, a cavity that pretty much goes throughout the entire thing, I could go through and create another uh, piece in here to help give it more security. But I think the, uh, the piece in here uh, is probably adequate. It's about 10 millimeters worth of handle in there plus the loop part. Uh, so I think it has enough. So the next thing we want to do is uh, create another sketch around the entire body of the thing. So what I'm going to do here is sweep this or rotate it all the way around this middle axis here, this little piece that I, this profile that I designed there. So now uh, we'll revolve it around there, uh, unsuppress that, and this is our final product. And what we can do is we can print it from this end and, uh, and have it build from there up. Um, however, this is going to be printed in a resin printer, so it's actually going to print uh, from the build plate at the top and drop down to here. So let's go ahead and print this out and see how it goes.